Had no need to fight Tonight, tonight The MX-9 is finally getting nerfed. Yes, this broken gun that you can see in the gameplay right now is finally getting a nerf. And I'm also going to be telling you guys about all the other buffs and nerfs that are going to be coming in Season 10. Now, just keep in mind that these are leaks, and I'm not really sure if they're official or not. So some stuff may change, but most of this is concrete. Just before we get into it, I want to give a big shout out to Campers on Duty, which basically supplied us uh, with these leaks. Also, make sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, and also join my Discord server. I'll be linking that in the description down below. We've got a tourney going on right now, and you can win cash, so make sure to join up my Discord server. Yeah, let's get into it. Okay, first of all, we have the Shorty, which is obviously the most broken pistol in the game. It's basically a main shotgun in terms of statistics at this point. And basically it's getting a nerf, so decreased damage at range, so it's not going to be as effective at longer ranges anymore. And there's going to be more vertical recoil. Um, I don't think that's going to matter too much, but you know, vertical recoil, sure. Next up we have the MX-9, oh my bloody god, finally. It's getting a big nerf, decreased base damage from 30 to 25 and that's actually quite a lot. It doesn't seem like a lot, but that is five damage is a lot. Um, considering that, you know, for example, it's going to take four shots to kill. In total, if you times uh, five by four, that's 20. So it's basically dealing 20 less damage. And that's crazy. That, that really is crazy. And I think, I don't know if this thing's going to be meta anymore. The thing is, it definitely has really good strafe um and you know the movement is really good so this may stay like a gun i'm not really sure we'll we'll have to see but i have a feeling that it's still going to be sitting around the top not for its time to kill anymore but just for its insane movement also it's getting more recoil but currently it doesn't have like any recoil at all so i don't think increasing the recoil is going to be too bad next up we have the mw11 which is a pistol that many people have forgotten about and it used to be one of the better pistols back in the day. But um, it's getting a massive buff. So the increased base damage... Oh, well, the base damage is getting increased from 26 to 35. And the chest and headshot multipliers, um, they're going to be increased as well. And you're going to be hitting 40 damage for the chest. This thing is going to be a three shot. Like, it's so fast firing. All you have to do is hit two chest shots and... Um, you know, one leg shot, <sighs> mate, I don't even know what to say, MW11 is going to be absolutely crazy this season, we're going to see people maining the MW11 instead of, like, automatic assault rifles, like, bro, what, but yeah, um, I don't know if I'm excited to see how that turns out, but I am interested. Okay, so the Swordfish is getting a buff overall. So basically, first of all, we're getting increased mag size from 44 to 52 and decreased burst interval. So it's going to be shooting faster and it's going to have more bullets. Now, for the Halberg, whatever it's called, Halberd mag, um, the magazine size is going from 40 to 50 and the chest and arms damage is going to be going from 24 to 26, which is now going to make it a basic four shot. So yeah. Um, that's going to be good, I guess. I, I mean, it was pretty balanced already, so I'm not sure how I feel about this. Hopefully, it's not too crazy, um, but yeah, we'll have to see. Next up, the Type 25 is getting above. The fire rate is going to be increased. Lad, what? <laughs> this thing already has a crazy fire rate for an assault rifle, but, you know, it's getting increased. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, and the lower torso abdomen damage is also going to be increased, going from 24 to 26 damage. And taking a look at the stopping power attachment alone here, um, there's going to be adjusted recoil. So I'm not really sure how the recoil is going to work now, but I'm sure we'll, we'll see later on. Uh, the increased damage for 28 base to 30 damage upper chest. Um, that's pretty good. Uh, it's not going to make too much of a difference, but it is good to get a damage buff and the removed reload speed penalty. So I do think that um, since it's getting an increased fire rate, obviously time to kill is going to get up. There's also damage buffs as well, especially for the uh, stopping power. So I think this gun's going to be meta next season and I'm, I'm really excited. 
Next up, we have the R90, and it's getting on sort of a little adjustment. So the STF, which is the sprint to fire delay, um, is going to get decreased. So it's going to be basically just a better shotgun, um, and increased rechambering speed. I mean, yeah, sure, the scene's pretty like minimal, nothing too big, and I don't think it's going to get any better. Next up, we got an adjustment to snipers and marksman rifles. Basically, they've adjusted the feature of cancelling the recenter animation through moving away, so you don't need to move it more to aim at another target quickly. Okay, I basically have no idea what that means, so if anyone knows what that means, drop it in the comment section below and I'll pin it. Next up, we have the perk Quick Fix, and it's basically getting a nerf. Um, it's basically only going to trigger now every two seconds. So before you could take on like four people and every person that you killed, it would just give you more health. But now obviously um, it's only going to give you health back after killing like one person and then you have to wait another two seconds before it can work again. So obviously uh, a bit of a nerf there. So one of the more popular weapon perks that um, I use pretty commonly on shotguns, um, it's getting a getting a bit of an adjustment. So I'm gonna getting removed sprint speed boost, uh, retaining the walking speed boost for reloading and rechambering and limiting the normal speed boost and sliding speed boost. So basically you won't be able to run as fast, um, but you'll still be able to walk as fast and the normal speed boost and the sliding speed boost will be nerfed a little bit as well. Launchers will be getting fixed issues of damage delay after hitting. Anyone with, like, high ping will literally not notice the difference, so, um, yeah, okay. The FHJ is getting increased bullet velocity, so I think it's going to shoot faster now. I mean, you kind of just use this thing to shoot down UAVs, so I, I honestly couldn't care less. And the Thumper is getting increased direct damage, but decreased explosive radius. This thing has, like, zero explosive radius already. So I, I don't understand this, like, increased direct damage, sure, but, like, it's not going to make it any better. If anything, it's it's a nerf. So I don't know what they're doing there, lad. And finally, we got the SMRS. So increased direct base damage, but decreased explosive radius. Hmm, I don't know why everything's getting decreased explosive radius. It's, like, the best thing about them. Though. Okay. Decreased direct damage as well for Battle Royale. Uh, decreased initial bullet velocity for MSRS, SMRS, uh, though the maximum bullet velocity is the same for Battle Royale. Yeah. I don't really know. I don't I don't use the MSRS, bloody hell, the SMRS anymore, so I honestly wouldn't really know, but yeah, Thumper and SMRS, I mean, nobody really uses them anymore, so not too shabby. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the patch notes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section down below what you like the most about this new update um, and what you hate the most. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.